everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and today I am here with a post review and reveal of one of my recently completed diamond painting kits. I have a lot of thoughts to share with you guys on this one, so um, grab a cup of coffee and settle in because we have a lot to talk about with this one, you guys. Um, this kit is called Dragon Princess. It is by the artist um, Renee Bierenfertel and is from the company Diamond Dots. I have the diamonds that came with this kit here and a tray that I'm going to need to use shortly to show you some things that happened. And uh, I have my diamond painting logbook right here, which is where I track um, the stats and my various thoughts on the diamond paintings that I work on. And um, so here is the spread for this particular kit. The stats on this one, it's 67 by 85 centimeters, has 32 colors and has round shaped diamonds with some special shaped diamonds as well. It's what's, con it's what's considered a partial drill diamond painting. And what that means is that not the entire thing has diamonds on it. This background that you see here um, is just, it just has the printed image. It doesn't have any diamonds actually placed there. So that's what we call a partial diamond painting. Um, I did start this in early March and I finished it, um, you know, a couple weeks later, a little less than two weeks later. And I participated just in the community aspect of a couple of different events going on. First, there's Mermaids and Magic, which is an event hosted by my friends Shay and Alyssa. They both have YouTube channels. And then also the Stoke Your Dragonfire event hosted by Dragonwing Diamonds. Uh, that's Mackenzie. This is also the kit that I worked on as my dragon diamond painting for the month of March. And I have this goal throughout the year of 2024, which is the year of the dragon, uh, to work on one diamond painting kit a month that has a dragon in it. So this was my, my March kit of choice. So um, I did purchase this kit on Amazon. Uh, you can buy this kit from either directly from the Diamond Dots website or they have a number of different retailers they work with. Um, I have seen this kit before at Joann's or Michael's in the United States, I think. And um, I think that there are other like worldwide distributors that they have as well. And, but I did get this one on Amazon because that was where the price was the best. And I have bought Diamond Dots kits from Amazon before and haven't had issues. You see where I may be going with this one. Um, this kit, I loved so much about it, including how it looks finished, but it also, it really stressed me out a little bit, <laughs> especially towards the end because I kept running out of colors. I kept having to deal with some really, really terrible drill colors, uh, the quality, which I'll show you in a bit, but I have to tell, I have to say that in the end, I think that this turned out so beautifully. And if you take a look, it's especially evident in the darker colors as I'm moving this here. The sparkle and the twinkle on diamond dots drills or diamonds is really incredible. They are so faceted. They're so twinkly and sparkly. I think they look just um, amazing. So I want to point out a couple things to kind of coming up closer. So first, these are where you're going to find the special shaped diamonds. It's in her hair piece as well as in her earring. Um, and you can see, obviously, her face is just printed. There's no diamonds there. Um, we also have a lot of crystals in the kind of the hem and the lining of the, the robe that she's wearing. It's on the hem of her sleeve as well. There are also some ABs throughout. Um, it's easier if I point it out through the camera. The white lines, the pattern in on her sleeve, that's all white ABs. And there are some blue ABs, some really light blue ABs in there as well. There's some ABs like down here in these areas. And um, some of the outline of, of this has some ABs in it too. So I thought the special drill placement was really, really nice. My favorites were definitely these crystals. And you know, there's just something really fun about special shaped diamonds like this. I also really enjoyed that this particular kit was a partial. Um, I, I don't necessarily always want to work on partial drill diamond paintings. I tend to personally really enjoy the finished look of a kit that is a full drill that has diamonds over the whole thing. But in the case of this kit, I thought that it suited the artwork exceptionally well. I think that having the background printed and having it just them not trying to translate it to diamond painting form, but instead having it printed, you get that really kind of soft watercolor vibe throughout was really nice. And it helped really like these main subject areas pop in such a beautifully amazing way, at least in my personal opinion. I loved that this was a partial drill diamond painting. Um, I am noticing and noticed as I was working on it that the glue that is it has been placed here, it does go pretty far past the edge of the diamonds. And I am 
debating if I want to seal this in some fashion or just try to store it in such a way that uh, this exposed glue is not going to pick up a bunch of, you know, I have cats <laughs> um, or like dust or dirt or anything. I really want this exposed glue around these diamonds to stay clean um, because that's that's not a particular kind of embellishment. I like to add my to my canvases. I don't like to add fur and dirt and dust. <laughs> I'll keep it to the special drills um, in that case. Uh, as far as what Diamond Dots canvases are like, they they have a hundred percent a one hundred percent polyester canvas material. It's um, like you can really hear when you run your hands over it. It's like a really kind of shiny, stiff material. It has a really distinct feel to it. Diamond Dots has it. Um, there are a couple other companies out there that have it. I think that it's kind of in the minority though, as far as diamond painting companies out there and the materials they use on their canvases. Um, they do use, use poured glue. This came with a clear plastic cover and it did have round diamonds like I mentioned. And um, Diamond Dots does make some square drill kits, but I feel like you know they started out for a long time just had round drill kits um and i feel like it's still what the majority of their kits are diamond dots has really been around for a long time they're really well established in the diamond painting world and um, for a lot of people this was their first exposure to diamond painting particularly because this is the brand that really got a foothold in stores especially in the us first and so this is just kind of been a long time staple i feel like of the diamond painting world and um for a while i felt like they were really <clears throat> like underrated like you didn't really hear uh, the YouTube like online community on Instagram and, and YouTube really talking about diamond dots much but um, there has been a little bit like kind of a resurgence and being like no there is some really good stuff that's going on um, at diamond dots and especially if you kind of know what sort of styles and whatnot that you're looking for they're doing some interesting things including um, a kind of wild master class line of kits. Um, I bought a kit from Diamond Dots from this masterclass line that cost me $230. It's the most I've ever spent on a diamond painting. And I did it because I had to find out and see for you guys, why is this $230? What is What are they offering? What is special about this kit? And I will have that unboxing linked below if you're curious. Um, yeah, so this particular kit, I think retails on their website, $79.99, $89.99 US dollars. I get, got it on Amazon for around $60. To me, that $90 price range, it feels, hot. that feels a little high to me. Um, it is licensed artwork. We do get the artist's name and um, you are getting like the Diamond Dots brand and quality. But for me, for a partial at this size, that like, that sticker price, that retail price feels a bit high to me, just in my opinion, you are welcome to disagree with me. Um, but getting it on sale, like the $60 that on Amazon felt more in my range. And if you were getting it in stores, like you could use coupons. So, you know, just, you can do with that what you, what you like. Um, as far as, let me see, let me go over other things that I liked about this canvas. And then I need to talk to you about some issues that I ran into it with it as well. Um, so I, I kind of talked about a lot of it already. Um, how you can find it in sale and stores, how it is licensed. The artist is credited on their website. Um, they don't list the artist specifically by name on the canvas, but I think the, the artist must have a licensing agreement with Tate and company licensing. That must be a licensing house. A lot of artists work with, um, that particular, you know, licensing, uh, house. And, um, I really loved the colors that were in here. I think that it just finished looking at it just like this. I think this is a stunning and incredible canvas. It just is a showstopper. I think that it is perfectly suited to the year of the dragon. I think it's charted really, really well. I, there's so much that I love about it. Just looking at this completed and going, oh, I love that this was my kit for um, the month of March as far as dragon kits go. Now, I did run into some issues that I, I have to make sure that I'm talking to you guys about because this is, uh, I really value transparency and being really honest with you guys and as unbiased as I can here on my channel. So first, if you saw the unboxing, you would have heard me react a little bit to some minor kind of quality issues I was noticing. For example, this came to me with this big black mark across the top corner of the canvas. And as I've worked on this, I've noticed it is really, it is fraying quite badly. Now, I haven't seen the fraying try to go past where the pokes are, but like it is, I mean, geez, I'm barely touching it and it just is, 
it is fraying quite a lot. That is the main culprit, but there are a couple other spots that if you look at it, um, you can kind of see where it's wanting to lift just a little bit. Um, this is one of a number of issues I'm going to share with you today that I'm going to say is highly inconsistent with my previous experiences with Diamond Dots canvases. I have completed two or three, three or four other Diamond Dots branded canvases, along with some other canvases that I are from companies like Make Market and Leisure Arts that I'm pretty well convinced have the same manufacturer and maybe are under actually just the Diamond Dots brands just with a different name, an in-store name. Um, but uh, this, it, there are a couple things about this canvas that just have been really, really wildly different from my experiences with those other kits. And so I'm inclined to say that these issues, uh, I'm inclined to say that they're a fluke. Um, I am inclined to say, I want to give the benefit of the doubt, I guess. Um, if I were to have another kit from Diamond Dots that I had these kinds of issues with, I would be more concerned, but you know, up till now, my, my experience has been good. Um, I'll try to remember to link to those reviews below too, if you want to see those and kind of see what I'm talking about. But there was that. That was one of the main things. Um, the huge thing for me though, was that I ran out of multiple drill colors and it made it so that when I got to the end, which I had saved like her face in this whole area for last <laughs> because I thought that would be fun. It wasn't fun. It was stressful because I got to that area and I was running out of colors and I was trying to dive into my stash of spare diamonds, my leftover diamonds that I saved and struggling to find exact texture and shade matches for these colors. If you didn't know, Diamond Dots has their whole own color code system and their diamonds, I feel like just have a slightly different texture and look to them than most other diamonds on the market do. And so finding matches for them, um, with other companies diamonds is really tricky and I didn't have any color matches from past diamond dots kits those were the colors that I was missing uh, and so I was having to just get as close as possible now why didn't I contact diamond dots and ask for um, additional so uh, two reasons one I bought the kit on Amazon and I didn't know if that would give me any if the, if that, if the warranty counted in that case I didn't try though. I'm gonna, you know, I'll reach out to them and see kind of what they say, just so maybe I can get that information for you and I'll add it to the description below uh, if I hear back from them. Um, so there was that. And two, I wanted to finish the kit. I didn't want to have to wait however many weeks for me to contact them and hear back and then to like mail me additional drills. I just wanted to finish it. And so I was able to find diamonds that were close enough. There is a conversion chart out there, I think on the Diamond Dots website um, that, converts the diamond dots numbering system to the DMC numbering system that virtually other every other diamond painting company out there uses. Uh, diamond dots, they have like colors in the 8,000s range. <laughs> um, and six, there's some, yeah, 6,000s, 5,000s. It's, you know, nowhere near the DMC color code system. Uh, but here's the reason that I ran out of these diamonds was because, you guys, these diamonds were chock full of trash. And um, originally I was pulling the trash drills and just dumping them in here because I thought, well, you know, um, it'll be fine. It was not fine. Let me show you a couple of colors. Okay. So this is one color. Um, these diamonds all either have trash sticking off of them or have holes in the top. And I'm sorry, I don't want to place diamonds that have big holes in them on my canvas. This is actually not the biggest culprit. Which one was the biggest culprit? Um, I think it was this color. I'm pretty sure it was this color that literally every single one of these diamonds has either a trash bit or yeah, every single one of these diamonds has a hole in the top of it or a trash bit on the side. Now, some of these diamonds, like the hole is really, really small, but I don't want to place that on my canvas. I'm sorry. I don't think that that's completely unreasonable of me. And I don't think it's unreasonable to expect that I would have enough spares given the cost of the kit and what I feel like is the standard that this company has otherwise maintained and set for themselves. I don't think it's unreasonable for me to expect that I would have more than this and extra diamonds left that I would be able to use on my canvas. So um, there was just there was a lot of trash. There were a lot of diamonds like that. And I was genuinely so surprised because again, this has not been, I feel like I dropped a diamond earlier. That's what I'm kind of feeling to see. 
This just has simply not been my experience with my past Diamond Dots kits that I've worked on. And I've worked on a couple of really large ones and I would have expected that an issue like this would have come up if it were an ongoing issue. So um, those colors, that one kind of dark teal color ended up being um, in her hair and I ended up finding a close enough color match um, oh, see, I even did place some diamonds that had holes in them, like that one right there. So I did find some diamonds that were close enough that I didn't feel like looked wildly different from the texture and shade. But I feel like you can kind of, are these the ones? I think these are the ones. Um, they're not as hyper faceted. I think it's these. Um, they don't twinkle quite as highly as the Diamond Dots ones do. But especially when you're pulled back this far, I don't think you can tell that I had to switch. It was probably a couple of, it was at least a couple of dozen of that particular color. Um, and the beige I had to switch to. And that was in various spots. Let me see. Yeah, this you can really tell in my opinion. Okay, so this kind of, mm, let me try zooming you in instead. Okay, so you can see this color right here they look very shiny <laughs> as opposed to the diamond dots diamonds in the color above it that are really faceted and not necessarily as shiny. They're more twinkly. I mean, they are both shiny, but like this color, this kind of light beige, those are ones that I had to grab for my spares and the finish is different. It just is. <laughs> but I, you know, again, when you step back, I don't think you can tell. I think that it was, so this is the replacement color. I think that um, it's this color right here is the Diamond Dots version. Right above my finger, that's the Diamond Dots version of the color. And this was the equivalent that I found in my spares. So just in case you were curious, that's what I mean when I'm talking about texture and sheen and shading differences. So um, it kind of makes me a little bit paranoid and wanting to start really saving like all of my leftover diamonds again, which I have not done for quite some time. I just have a decently solid stash of leftover diamonds. Um, but in this kit, I just, I, I didn't have quite close enough shade matches and I kind of wish that I had saved some more. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do going forward, but I haven't run into a canvas where I've run out of diamonds in a long time. So um, I was a little bit out of my element, but it came together. I was able to finish it uh, that night and not have to wait and try to, you know, order or track down, you know, the diamond dots versions of these colors. I did check Amazon. They weren't available on Amazon Prime, at least not the shades that I needed. But, um, you know, that is, <laughs> that is what it is. Um, something that I noticed, but I don't know that I would say it's necessarily a pro versus con. Um, this is just an observation. And this is the thing I feel like I've noticed on Diamond Dots canvases in the past as well, but it was really stark on this one. And that is that the printing of the symbols that were on the canvas was really different from um, the color of the drill that you ended up placing on those symbols. And I double and triple check to see, make sure that I was placing the correct color on those symbols. And I, and I was thankfully, but it just, it threw me a little bit, but I guess it was a neat way to kind of see the image come to life. I will, if I have a picture, I will put it up on the screen for you here so you can see an example of what I mean. Um, the printing of the symbols themselves on the canvas were quite a bit darker than the color of the diamond I ended up placing on those you know, symbols for the most part. So just an observation, mostly something I wanna to mention to be maybe helpful to you if you're working on a Diamond Dots canvas and going, is this the right color? This seems unusual. Um, yeah, just, <laughs> it is quite possible that it is just a, a difference in what they're printing on the canvas versus what color you are placing on the canvas. So, um, so I think that kind of summarizes my thoughts about this particular kit. I know that I had a lot to say as far as like the hiccups that I ran into running out of diamonds in the fraying canvas, but I want to reiterate not to be a broken record that this was the exception rather than the rule as far as my experience with Diamond Dots and other Diamond Dots family canvases. So I am absolutely going to purchase from them and work on their kits again um, because I just, I really feel like this was likely a fluke. I, you know, I'm still incredibly happy with how this turned out. I think it's, it's just 
so, so, so beautiful. I am in love with the colors. I'm in love with the whole finished effect of this. And I just think it is beautiful and stunning. And I am very, very happy that I worked on it and very satisfied with how this looks completed. So um, would I suggest buying this kit for yourself? I would, but I suppose I might put the caveat on that I, I don't know if you're also going to run into issues with either drill quality or running out of diamonds. Uh, but perhaps if you were to buy from the Diamond Dots website, you know, maybe that would afford you some, you know, additional coverage or, you know, I, I will contact them and see if they would honor their warranty on their on kits purchased from, you know, Amazon or I guess other even storefronts. So, you know, I, I still this would not deter me from recommending this brand to you at least as of the time of this filming. If I work on another Diamond Dots canvas and have trouble, I have a, am of course going to let you know and um, adjust maybe my recommendations. But I wanted to be honest with you, but I also wanna be honest with you in terms of saying like, I would still buy this kit again. And I think that I would safely recommend to you, like, yes, if you love the artwork and the style and what this kit appears uh, to have to offer in terms of, you know, being a partial and the colors and everything, um, I would give it, I would give it a try. <laughs> if nothing else, take a look and see what else Diamond Dots has to offer either on their website or maybe some of the retailers they work with where you can use coupons. I'm not an affiliate for Diamond Dots. I bought this kit myself and I don't have any kind of, I don't have a coupon code or anything. I wish I did have one to share with you, but maybe it just also helps to know that, hey, I'm not an affiliate. So you really are getting just a genuinely unbiased opinion from me. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know below in the comments. What are your thoughts? Do you like this kit with the issues that I run into deter you from buying this particular kit for yourself? Or are you like, yeah, no, it's probably a fluke. Or frankly, if you've had bad experiences or good experiences with diamond dots, whatever your experience has been like in general with them, I would really genuinely love to hear from you down in the comments below. So thank you so much. If you take the time to leave a comment and um, if you don't mind, hit the thumbs up on the way out if you enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe if you want to see a variety of diamond painting content from me. I do reviews on a variety of companies and their kits that I complete and um, I do weekly whip and chats, lots of unboxings and try to just give you a little bit of everything diamond painting here on my channel and I'd love to have you. So thanks again for watching you guys. Have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.